the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 343 Ephesians 1-3 Church, the body of Christ The hand of God that protected humans since creation continues to protect Christians and churches through His grace. First point, as the 66 books in the Bible are one book, the four prison letters of Paul are also one book. As Paul awaited his trial from the Roman Emperor, he wrote letters to the people he could not meet. First, Ephesians and Colossians theoretically unravel what the Gospel is about. Second, Philippians and Philemon practically unravel how to act through the Gospel. Third, although Ephesians and Colossians had two separate books, they both collectively state what a church is. Furthermore, Paul looks into who Jesus is with a focus on the church and Christianity. Fourth, although Ephesians and Philippians are also two different books, they both point towards how Christians are the body of Christ and how Christians should love and serve within the church. And fifth, Colossians and Philemon both teach how we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Second point, Paul praised the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who grants salvation. Ephesians was written to be read by the Ephesians church, as well as the churches around the region. The person to deliver this letter was Tychicus. Paul loved Tychicus as his brother in Christ, and so gave him the role of delivering his current situation to the churches around the Ephesus area. Tychicus also delivered Paul's other letters, such as Colossians and Philemon. He was also one of the people to deliver aid to the Jerusalem church. The Ephesians church received Paul's letter through Tychicus and praised the Lord for his salvation. Paul wrote that God had a plan for us before creating the universe, and that the Father sent us Jesus Christ in order to save us and grant us eternal life. Paul furthermore thought that God's grace and glory was what made us rejoice. Paul also praised the Holy Spirit for protecting them all. Third point, Paul justified the church as the body of Christ. Paul wrote that all the blessings in the Ephesians church were God's grace and the workings of Jesus Christ. Here, Paul reported to the words in the Old Testament in order to testify Jesus. The contents of Paul's letter here started the words on Christology. This was ultimately a message that Christ was the head who governed the humans who were the body of Christ. As such, Paul defined in Ephesians chapter 1 what a church was. Paul justified a church to be made up of Christians who are the body of Christ, and they, through Jesus, were saved and granted eternal life. Furthermore, God, who forgave our sins, also revealed His secret to us. This secret was that church enables humans to understand God's creation and God's workings. Through Jesus' cross, we became God's new creation and ultimately Christians. A church, therefore, is incomparable to any other. It is a gathering of people to celebrate Jesus and to act as the body of Christ. Fourth point, Paul taught that Jesus' cross enabled our bodies to become the temple of Christ. The history of the church is as follows. It started with two stone tablets, the ark, the tabernacle, the temple, birth of Jesus, 
the offering of God's young lamb on the cross, resurrection, and ascension. Sitting on the right hand of God in heaven, sending of the Holy Spirit, Christ dwells in us, and then your body is the temple of Christ. The greatest event for humankind was no doubt the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Jesus Christ completed the laws and brought peace and made all humans equal before God. Thus, anyone could come before God through their faith in Jesus Christ. Ultimately, our bodies became the temple of Christ. Therefore, Christians are what make up a church. Fifth point, Paul taught that God's plan of blessing all nations existed prior to Abraham and was fulfilled through Jesus. Paul declared that God's calling to him to become an apostle for 40 nations was God's great grace to him. Paul revealed that God called him as an apostle for all nations and had plans to save all humans. The gospel became open to everyone and Paul added that he was called by God as God's worker to reveal this truth. Paul followed up by praying for the Ephesians church. Paul first prayed that the members of the Ephesians church strengthened their faith through the Holy Spirit. Second, he prayed that their hearts focused on Christ and that their love grew. Third, he prayed for them to realize God's great love for them and to be full of God's love. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.